Hi everyone! So I know I'm super late with November's glam bag, but here it is. So the first thing I'm using is the Chella Eyebrow Gel. And then I'm just filling in my brows. I wasn't really sure how to do it, but that's what I did. And then I am quickly going to apply my makeup, my eye makeup. I'm using shadows from the Naked Palette, number two I believe. And the reason why I decided to do my makeup was because in this month's glam bag we got an eyeshadow by the Balm Cosmetics and I love, love the shadow so much. I'm using it like every day. So I just wanted to put it in my crease. Um, it's a really pretty taupe and it looks, it looks kind of grayish but it actually does have like a pigment of purple in it which I really like. And this is just really quick because it's not really a tutorial. And then I used some on my lower lash. Then we also got this um, eyeliner pen by, or pencil, not pen, by Starlet. And it wasn't really as creamy as I wanted it to be, but it's really black. And then I just applied my mascara on both eyes. I used the Maybelline Falsies, the purple one. And then I applied a lipstick by Revlon and this gloss or liquid yeah it's like a gloss liquid cream that they sent and it's it's very sheer but it's still very pretty and then I decided to add some blink to my nails um, by applying a coat of nail teeny on top and I know that the colors don't match but I just wanted to show everyone what this confetti thing would look like hi everyone so today I'm here with my what month is it? November! And November is one of my favorite months and I'm here with November's glam bag. So this is the bag and this is what's inside this month and the bag is cute. I'm not a really big fan of brown so it's not, it's probably just gonna go into the box where all the bags are that I don't use. Um, it's not, it's, it's a fall color but I don't really like this color. Um, but anyway, what's inside is what's super amazing this month. Um, so once again, you know, we received it in our little pink bag. And inside the bag, there was the bag and the glam bag and these two little cards. And um, this one is just, it just has everything that it's inside. I'll just go in the order that it is in the card. And the first thing that we have is nail teeny. And when I first saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, nail polish. Um, and it's not just any normal nail polish, it's seasonal nail polish, which is like, I go crazy with like glitter and little designs. And I wish I would have done a better job at showing you the nail polish because right now I have like, it's kind of a weird color to put under. But I had this purple one on and I just did my nail, so I didn't want to like take it off and then, um, but I did put it like on my nails. I don't know if you can tell. The purple's really overpowering. So I think what like caught my attention mostly wasn't even like the actual glitter because it's just like confetti in a bottle. It's pretty much what I love to call these, confetti in a bottle. Uh, it has like green, purple, gold. Yeah, I think those are the colors. And um, I own a lot of these actually. And um, I don't know how much, you know, I don't, they didn't put the prices anymore. They don't put the prices anymore, so I don't know how much these retail for, but actually Forever 21 has some really cute glitter ones. They're not, confetti and glitter are kind of different. I don't know if people like really notice the difference in them, but uh, glitter is more like a like a circle and then confetti is more like a, like a little line or a small square. Um, but anyway, Nail Teeny is so funny because I just, I love, the packaging and the whole idea of their lines. On the side it says, also on tap, lip teeny, eye teeny, apply responsibly. And then the website is teenybeauty.com and this is where you can buy uh, these products. So um, I just thought the whole idea of the nail teeny, lip teeny, eye teeny, that's, that's pretty funny. And the little logo is like a little martini so that I thought that was really cute. Um, and the nail polish is really cute so I really, I really do like it. It's it's like gold based, so that's probably um, what I really like about it. The only concern I have is that when I got my bottle, it had like I don't think I don't think they like did this right because it doesn't really close to the to, to the point that it it touches the thing. And I mean that's fine, but um, you can tell that like some of it spilled outside. Like right here, there's glitter. Like when I opened it, like that had already spilled. 
and there's some glitter down here as well so I think that maybe that's something that they have to work on and then like on the bottom it's like glitter everywhere so I don't know if like they like they spilled this one or I don't know what happened but that's like the only thing that I have with this nail polish that maybe the container doesn't really um it doesn't really close so maybe you can have like spills and stuff and oh my goodness to have a spill in your bag or something it is the most disturbing thing that can happen to someone who has a lot of makeup it's happened to me millions of times with uh foundations creams nail polishes glitter oh my god glitter i had this one glitter container and it just spilled everywhere in my makeup bag and i was literally getting glitter off my makeup and my face for like 20 days because it was just that like it was in all my makeup and whenever i would apply any it would just go on my face i was always glitterified terrible month <laughs> okay so the next thing i really actually love um and I had never tried their eyeshadows, but I really love it because I am a matte freak. So when I say I'm a matte freak is um, I love matte eyeshadow and that's probably one of the biggest reasons why I love the Naked palettes. I love that they have like a variety of shimmery and matte eyeshadows, but I always hit pan first on the matte eyeshadow. This is a, <laughs> I think the name is pretty funny. It's called Meet Matte and there's a guy on the little packaging and um, I like how it, it is a single shadow, but it's fine because it's in an actual container. It can't spill anywhere. Last month or a couple of months ago, they sent us an eyeshadow and it just, I don't even know where it is because it didn't have a good, you know, packaging. It was a pan eyeshadow and it just didn't work. Like, I don't know what happened to it. I really like the color, but I don't know where it is and I'm sure it's like destroyed now. Um, so that's really what sucks, but that's really something that I like about this one the fact that it's like an actual packaging It's just one shadow, but the packaging is it's still a pan eyeshadow um, And it's like a really cute packaging and it's meat matte like matte like I Love matte and anyway the color is really nice, too It's like um Oh his name's Matt Batali uh, it's like a, a taupe, like a really, really dark taupe. It goes to the to like the dark purple side, but it like I'm wearing it on my crease right now, and it looks very nice. Like it blends very nicely. Their shadows are very creamy, um, and they're very pigmented. Like you know, very pigmented. I've been rubbing it, rubbing it, and it's still there and that eyeshadow is by the balm cosmetics so crazy to say that almost a year ago next month is going to be a whole year of glam bags and i think that's insane um that it's been quite some time since that happened so oh my gosh you guys want to watch my first glam bag video that was kind of embarrassing i filmed it on my i have on my macbook and everything next thing we have i'm wearing it on my lips and i'm actually wearing something under this uh, because this is just a lip gloss. Now, I was very, oh my gosh, when I saw a lip gloss, I was like, I don't want a lip gloss. I want like a lip stain. I want something that's like matte. I, I just love matte, like I said. But this is actually a pretty good um, lip gloss. I love that it was dark. I got it in the shade of Daredevil. It fits perfectly. But anyway, it's like a dark... Um, like a wine color and it's really pretty and uh, it's not so pigmented because under this under this lip gloss I have like a wine color already um, but what I really like about this lip gloss it's that it's kind of it has like a minty feel to it this is what it looks like by itself I don't know if you like built it up you can actually make it like something really much darker but uh, this is like this is like a good mix of the lip gloss that I have and the lipstick that I have. Um, this next one is um, an eyeliner, and it's just a black eyeliner. It's from StarlitCosmetics.com, and this pen was so needed in my life because I don't know where the hell all my eyeliners went. But when I saw that it was a black eyeliner, I was so happy. I was so happy. So this is the, the liner that I used on my top line, and it's not as creamy as I would like it to be. That's that's the only thing. It's really well pigmented, uh, has a good color payoff, 
but it's not as creamy it kind of like ugh, like it was kind of difficult to um, put it on but maybe it's just because it was like the first use and stuff but I really like it it's really long too so that's like you know it'll last last but not least you either got a benefit real beyond mascara free deluxe mini or the eyebrow defining gel by Chet. So thank God I didn't get a mascara because I I know what mascara I love. I know I'm never gonna switch. I know the mascaras that are like that work well for me. So I'm glad I didn't get another mascara because honestly, what I do with those samples is I throw them away. I don't wanna I don't wanna have them around in my life. But actually, I've never tried eyebrow defining gel, so I was so happy when I got the eyebrow defining gel. I'm actually wearing it today too. Um, to be honest, I don't know if I applied it the right way. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to like fill in your brows before or after, but I put the defining gel before and then I like filled in my, my eyebrows a tiny bit just to give more definition. Um, so yeah, I really like this um, eyebrow gel. Let me see. My eyebrows don't feel like, you know, they don't feel jelly or anything. They feel very natural, but they look really good. I'm actually really happy with how they look. So this was November's glam bag, and I hope you all enjoyed this review. Um, I, this is probably how I'm gonna do all the glam bag reviews from now on to actually like try the products and then talk about them because I always just open it and it's just an unboxing, but I actually have like no knowledge of how the products work, and I kind of feel like that's not really like worth making an entire video about. So I rather just like try the products, see how well I like them, and then actually talk about them. So um, so yeah, this month's glam bag was awesome and I'm kind of happy that I didn't cancel like a couple of months ago. I've been really happy with how the glam bags have been going and now that they have like that survey and all that stuff I think everything's getting a lot better. So I'm very happy with this glam bag. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of your glam bag or what you thought of the glam bag overall and I'll see you all next time in another video. Don't forget to subscribe, it would mean a lot to me and I love my subscribers. Um, leave a comment if you have anything to say and don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's at Andrea K. Bella. I'll see you all later. Bye.